Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to this video. This video is about Netcat and Netcat is a popular network security tool to date. It is old and it was introduced in uh, 1995. I think people call it as Swiss Army Knife as well. Uh, yes. And the Netcat runs as a client to initiate the connections with other computers. It can also operate as a server or listener in some specific settings. Some common usages of Netcat are using it as a chat or messaging service or file transfers. You know, you want to do it securely. Okay. So uh, you can also, uh, you know, use Netcat for port scannings as well. So if you want to know that if netcat is installed in your system or not so what you can do is that you can go on and write this command and see negative h if you hit enter you know if you get the results like this then it means that the netcat is installed on your system all right so ubuntu comes it comes with it pre-installed i guess because i don't remember installing netcat um you know on my system so it 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 comes pre-installed on ubuntu now what we're gonna do that we are going to treat this window here as a server and we are going to treat this window here as a client using netcat so we are basically going to create a chat service uh, and this is a server and this is a client so let's go ahead and let's try to do it so first of all in order to create a server we need to right here sudo we, we need to use sudo command here uh, then negative l and then negative p for port and then specify the port 23 it is going to ask me for the password i hit password and you can see now this thing this has become my server so now i'm going to make this window as my client so what we are what i'm going to do here that i'm going to write here nc localhost and then I'm going to specify the port, which is which is essentially 23. And remember, in this case, I haven't written sudo here because in this case, we do not need to write sudo. But in the case of the server, we need to have the super user privileges. All right. So I hit enter. And now you can see that both of them have like, you know, some sort of phenomena in which they are not letting me enter any command. But if if I will write here anything like hello server if i hit you are there so if i hit enter now you can see that the exact text that i have written here has appeared here on the server as well so if i write here hello client yes i am here so if i hit enter and you can see that these this text appears here as well so this window right here is now acting as a client and this window right here is acting as a server and they are basically communicating with each other using netcat okay so that was the simple example that i have explained today i hope you have learned something uh, if you want to learn more about netcat and if you want to like uh download it remember that you can download it for other operating systems as well windows mac you know for linux as well if you want to download it separately and you want to uh, install it separately you can do that as well uh, the link is i guess netcat.sourceforge.net so just go on on google you can search netcat and you can download it and install it and read from read more about it from the documentation as well so i hope you have enjoyed today's video i will see you in the next video